So this is the MacBook Pro from 2012. Let's find out, is it still worth it in 2023? Let's go. What's up, welcome to Tech Select. my name is Linus and in today's video we are looking at the 2012 MacBook Pro right there. Quite an old machine but we just get to find out is it still worth your money or should you pick up one in 2023. As you know things are getting modern, newer things are coming out but well should this old Titan still be on your watch list? So let's start off with looking at why you'd want to get yourself a MacBook Pro model 2012 in this very year 2023. So let's start with price. So these MacBooks are actually very affordable when you look at them in comparison to others. They are a good way for you to get into the whole MacBook situation right there. If you check on eBay, you can get them at about $200, $300, and some sometimes even way less than that right there. Now, if you're in Uganda and you're looking at the used market, you can get them at about 1 million, 1.2, 1.3 million shillings, depending on the processor that is in and also how much RAM is available available now i must warn you if you're buying a 2012 macbook pro do not go anywhere below the i5 version if you get the i7 version even much better so with me here i do have a macbook pro and this one in particular if i might go to about this mac this here is a mid 2012 i7 uh machine right there now let's first put that to the side now if you get to notice this is an i7 uh macbook that was released in 2012 so in generations it would be i think a third generation i7 which is not so bad and the only downside with it is it's a dual core 2.9 gigahertz processor but it still gets the work done and that exactly is my point number two as to why you might want to pick up but this particular MacBook is what kind of work you can use it for. Now, if you're looking at just a MacBook to have for your personal day-to-day -day use, then the 2012 MacBook Pro is still a good pick for you in 2023. If you're looking to do documents, looking to do some uh, photo editing, looking to do some mild video editing. Now, if you're video editing, make sure it is not anything 4K, 1080, it is just fine. And if you're looking for just a machine, let's say for school purposes, then this is a very, very great MacBook for you to have. Now, talking about doing work, this 2012 MacBook Pro has probably one of the best keyboards I have used in a while. It's a backlit keyboard. It has a very nice tactile feel to it. The keys feel so nice, a very good responsiveness right there. And I must say this year is an plus as to why you may want to get a 2012 macbook pro in 2023 so the other reason uh, to pick up the 2012 uh, macbook pro would be it is screen now i will want to admit it does not really have the highest resolution but the resolution it does have is just good enough now you have a 1280 by 800 pixel uh, resolution screen but the beauty of it is it has amazing color it has nice detail to it now when you compare it with windows laptops in the same price range they don't necessarily have that nice crisp look to the screen and also they do emit a lot more blue light which is harmful to your eyes but this here has a perfect balance between the colors and it just looks stunning so the display on this is still really stunning now looking at it generally the overall design of the 2012 macbook pro is just amazing it's a unibody design all crafted in aluminium right there and it's just beautiful it has quite some good weight to it because of you know the aluminum uh finishing and the body right there but it's just an amazing look it's an amazing design and even right now in 2023 this design still holds you know its way right there so it's yet another good reason for you to have one in your stock so if you're trying to figure out what laptop should you get for yourself if you're a beginner a student or just beginning into the whole you know digital creative world then definitely you can get this and start from there and we can always upgrade now the other reason why i'd recommend the 2012 macbook pro in 2023 is the ports now this MacBook in particular came with a couple of ports you have your two usb a ports a firewire port i don't even think there's any device that still uses firewire then of course you have that magsafe uh charger port right there i just love magsafe there's something about it the magnets it's just beautiful right there so that is an added advantage you have good connectivity and then the other thing is this particular model is the one that i think was the last series that had 
an optical drive that's a cd rom dvd rom in it right there but now what you can do is take that out and put in a second hard drive and just like that you are running two hard drives in one macbook so let's get to the downsides as to why you wouldn't want to own a 2012 macbook in 2023 before i get to show you how you can tweak it to make it work now first of all is like i mentioned earlier this macbook is made from aluminum or aluminium depending on where you're from and um, and that makes it heavy it's quite a heavy macbook to carry around when you put it in your backpack you actually do feel the weight of this macbook second is okay the the hardware in there much as it still competes favorably with modern day and times it still competes well it's a little bit outdated so if like now in this particular one that i have it's an i7 but it's from the third generation right now there are a lot faster processors out there and there are a lot faster uh, ram chips out there so this is ddr3 and it's running uh definitely as yes, third generation i7 so when you look at it specs wise it feels a little inferior to what is coming out now but if you look at it budget wise compared to what else is out there this is the way to go it actually is worth it so this is something you might want to consider before you get into the whole buying it for your daily use now the other reason you should um look into before you buy this is these laptops get pretty hot so they get hot to touch and being an aluminum or covered body the air vents are just where the screen is and there's not so much room for the air exchange to happen for you know the cold air to go in and the hot air to come out so they really really get pretty hot so if you're the kind of person that likes using a laptop maybe in your room on your lap you can easily get little minds right there so you might want to consider that as well so they do get pretty hot but then the biggest downside to this particular mac the 2012 macbook pro why most people shy away from it in 2023 is software constraints now the 2012 macbook pro is limited to mac os catalina but this should not scare you because there are workarounds that have been invented that can help you install even the latest os on this very macbook pro now if i might just go back here and i show you as you can see i'm running mac os monterey on my macbook pro right here and you can see clearly that it's a mid 2012 macbook pro if you're interested to find out how that was done leave me a comment in the comment section and i shall definitely make a video on how you can update your older macbook pro to the latest mac os software so that is something you should get to you know put into consideration right there when you are trying to get yourself a macbook this macbook is still really good it does very very well but of course there's some of the limitations and some of the reasons as to why you can get it now let's say you have gone past the point of trying to make up your mind and you have gotten this macbook pro here are some of the things you must do to have a usable experience in 2023 now let me give you a little bit of preamble to this many apps nowadays are really really uh, hardware intensive they do a lot of background work so you need to update your hardware for it to also be able to compete and give these hardware hungry apps their you know ability to run so first step what you're going to need to do is upgrade to an ssd the process is actually very simple if you want to see how to do it let me know in the comment section i shall leave some videos for you on how you can upgrade your mac from a hard drive which is an hdd and um, mechanical drive to an ssd that will give you way faster loading speed and working speed without any freezing second thing is you're going to want to max out the amount of ram that this particular machine has so the 2012 a macbook pro maxes out at about 16 gb of ram as you can see i have done that right there now the advantage is these uh, macbook pros still give you the ability to upgrade they give you upgrade ability so once you take off the back cover slide out the two uh, ram chips most most times you'll have a configuration of four and four take those out and put in eight eight remember this is ddr3 ram and now you're just going to be pushing 16 gb of ram just like that so you've done your hard drive and then you've done your ram and you're actually good to go you can take it a step further and remove the uh, the optical drive or the cd-rom dvd-rom uh, and then put in a second hard drive for you to save your data now this will help you save some bucks if you kind of constraints on cash you can buy a smaller hard drive to run your os and then have a, a bigger hard drive 
which you'll put into your CD-ROM space. And now that is what will be running all your day-to-day -day data, files, music, and whatsoever. So with just these upgrades, you have a perfect machine that can run you smoothly, no matter what task you throw at it. Are you editing photos? Are you doing some mild video editing? Are you doing your coursework, reading, typing, writing? All these will be handled smoothly. Now, if you're a content creator and you're thinking, should I actually get the 2012 MacBook? pro because you know you're on a budget you're really tight i would say yes if you're going to be editing 1080p video to work perfectly no hiccups whatsoever if you're editing 4k video this is where things get a little bit sluggy and snaggy but if you're using a program like uh, premiere pro you can create proxies and using those you can somehow make your editing flow a little bit smooth but other than that if you're doing 1080 everything is just perfect the trend is out the videos in considerable time but it does really get hot so that is it right there about the 2012 macbook pro let me know in the comment section do you have a 2012 unibody macbook pro or are you considering to buy one and of course also if you're interested to find out how i installed the latest version of mac os i can actually upgrade this to the latest but i was right now i'm running mac os monterey on this 2012 macbook pro leave me a comment in the comment section and i shall gladly make a video on how you can achieve this but for today thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next video Bye bye